In this video, I'm going to give a critique of someone's LinkedIn profile so that we can all learn from uh, what is optimized and what could be even more optimized. And uh, so what are, and, and this is, I'm doing this because I invite you to do your own research to look at your niche mates, you know, the people who are similar service providers in your industry, look at them and see how they're, uh, what they put on their LinkedIn profile because it's it's hard to look at our own profile sometimes it's hard to look at our own profile and see what can be improved sometimes it's much easier to look at a competitor or niche mates profile and and it serves as a mirror to you just like oh wow that person could really improve this section or wow I really liked how he or she said this okay and so what do you look for when you look up a, a, a niche mate on LinkedIn? What do you look for to see how you yourself might improve your profile? You look for their professional headline, their summary. Actually, I should add one more is that you also look at their, uh, their profile photo and see if, it's, if, it feels, if, if you feel it appropriately um, expresses who they are. Uh, look at their summary section, the skills that they list for endorsement. Um, look at what kind of media they've added how they title their job positions, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a whole list here on this mind map. But I'm gonna go, just going to go and look at uh, a profile and we'll kind of crit I'll critique it and you can watch how I do this. So uh, let's see here. Turn my profile. Okay, so to, to look up a niche mate on LinkedIn, what you do is you when you're on LinkedIn, you click on the search box up here and you type in uh, the type of person uh, well, what, what, what kind of, um, what is your job title? You know, what is, how might someone describe your profession? For me, someone might say, okay, they're looking for a marketing coach. So I would type in marketing coach, okay? And instead of clicking on anybody right now, I'm just going to click on the magnifying glass to search. And, you know, uh, I could then go and look at, look at these people to see, uh, what I like about their profiles and, and what, what I don't. What I like is what I could emulate on my own profile and what I don't like is what I want to make sure to not do on my profile, etc. But I'm actually going to look at a specific person, Paul Zelizer, a friend of mine who gave me permission to, uh, to critique his profile for this video. And um, Paul is a wonderful guy who founded a company called Wisdom, co-founded a company called Wisdompreneurs, uh, and he himself is a marketing coach, a business coach, uh, an executive coach as well. So uh, anyway, um, let's, let's take a look. Uh, and he particularly um, is, is focusing on, on coaching and consulting with businesses that are uh, wanting to be more conscious or mindful or ethical, sustainable in the way that they're doing their business. So um, let's see here. All right, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And I happen to know that Paul is indeed good at all these things. So I'm going to click endorse. Uh, and that's actually a, a, a good thing to do. You know, when you are looking at someone else's LinkedIn profile, be generous in what you endorse them for. I mean, if you even know a bit about, okay, yes, I, I know that this person is known for that, or I, I know that this person has some skill in that, endorse them. There's, there's, it's only going to, it's, it's good, good social media karma, and it'll come back to you. So uh, let's, let's take a look at uh, what Paul could improve about his profile here. So one thing is Paul hasn't added a background cover photo, and by the way, at, as of this moment, I haven't added either, so I'm still working on mine. And Paul is probably still working on his, but uh, at some point, it'd be nice to add some kind of background cover photo. Um, I'll show you, uh, actually, my wife has actually even added uh, a background uh, cover photo uh, on, on her profile. And I'm going to just view the profile as, a, as, a, as one of her connections. So you can see um, her cover photo kind of gives some character to... Um, maybe her values or what she loves and you know she's she herself is um, into energy healing and and sort of uh, holistic healing and dolphins are are a symbol of, of 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 that kind of higher consciousness so anyway that's what she chose here uh, she also loves animals so I think that that makes sense so um, anyway whoops let me uh, let me go back to the other page here okay 
uh, what about this this profile photo? I I think that given that, you know, if if Paul were a traditional business coach or business consultant, uh, this sort of namaste type of uh, you know pose might be inappropriate or a little strange. But because Paul focuses on mindful businesses, uh, conscious businesses, uh, more spiritually oriented businesses, this is a perfectly appropriate and nice profile picture for that you know he's he's um he's you know business casual outfit and uh, nice nice background not distracting uh nicely lit picture um sort of sincere uh and and uh, mindful you might say of this picture okay so his name paul zelzer now some people i'll tell you some people put some th words after their name on linkedin like sometimes they'll even put their phone number and i'll tell you you are not allowed to, to put your phone number or your email address in any of these fields. Okay, there are there's a place to put a phone number and email address, and that's in the um, that's in the contact uh, contact information section. Which, interestingly, I can't find here for for Paul. Maybe it's down down near the bottom there, or maybe he ha he hasn't made his contact. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so Paul hasn't made his contact information available, which. Um, I actually don't. I think that he, I think he can improve upon that. So let me give you an example of let's say someone else um, marketing. I'm just going to type in marketing here. And I'm just going to go to the first person I click on. Actually, this person. Uh, yeah, actually, I'll, I'll click on this person. He's he's been one of my students in my program. Uh, so Eddie, great guy by the way. Uh, see his contact information. I don't want to click here because I don't want to expose that, but. He's, he's, a, he's making it easier for people to contact him. So that's one improvement I think that, that Paul can make. Oh, actually, no, here it is. I'm sorry. Um, so that was, a, that was a, notice that was a bug on LinkedIn. So if you don't see a contact info section, you may want to refresh that profile, whoever you're looking at, as long as it's a first degree contact. First degree means that I and Paul are directly connected on LinkedIn. Either I requested him to be connected to me or he requested me and we approved it. So that's why we're first degree connections. With your first degree connections, you, you you are able to see a contact info, okay, tab. Okay, so uh, let's look at this professional headline: conscious entrepreneurship, social media marketing, mindful leadership, business coach, CEO of Wisdompreneurs. So I, I I really like this. He, he's he's making good space. A lot of people don't don't uh, don't use up all the space here, but basically the professional headline can be approximately three lines. Uh, I think it's 120 characters. I I, I have that somewhere in. Um, in uh, in my mind map, I don't remember. Oh, 120 characters max. That's right. So uh, so he's making good use. And the thing is, he's he's using keywords. So he's imagining that his ideal client could be going on LinkedIn and searching. Okay, I'm interested in conscious entrepreneurship. I'm interested in social media marketing. I'm interested in mindful leadership. I'm I'm interested in looking for a business coach. Okay. Okay. So he's he's optimizing his profile for these keywords. Now he also puts this in there. Now, this is not necessarily a keyword because maybe people aren't searching for wisdompreneurs. Actually, wisdompreneurs is getting pretty big, so people, some people are searching for that now. But uh, you know, even if, it, if, if uh, wisdompreneurs wasn't that big, he wants to brand that name in people's minds. So it's, it's, it was a very, it, it didn't take him a lot of characters in terms of using up the space to simply put that in here. So that, that, was, a, that was a good move as well. Okay. All right. Let's scroll down. Uh, it's good to see 500 plus connections. That it makes him look well connected, which he actually is. So it's a good thing. We haven't yet gotten to the module where I'm showing you how to best add connections, but Paul has done a good job of, of adding enough first degree connections there. Okay, further down, Paul has been posting uh, blog posts on LinkedIn on a you know pretty regular basis, usually once once every two weeks or so. So that's good. Um, and we haven't yet talked about that in this course, but uh, I will be talking about it. So good, good job for Paul for, for posting that. Okay, let's look at his background. I'm just going to increase this, the size of this so we can read this a little bit. We initially con contact, contracted to design a social media market plan and create a vision, blah, blah, blah. Um, we achieved this and so much more. Uh, great gratitude to you, Paul. Okay, so basically what he's doing here is he is starting with some client testimonials or comments okay um, 
then that's a that's a good thing. But uh, it, he should have really put he should have set some context for this. So say um, you know he might want to set the context to. I, I, you know, come to think of it, I, I'm not sure I would recommend putting this right away because it, it's, it's a little bit, what, what, what does this mean? You know, what, what is, you know, um, so I would probably have, I would probably have added, put this at the very top. Are you wondering how to take your conscious business to the next level while staying true? I'm one of the first business marketing coaches to focus specifically on needs of conscious entrepreneurs, wisdom-based businesses. Uh, I've seen thousands of examples of what works and what doesn't in the sector. Um, you know, so he might then put these comments um, in, you know, right underneath here to say, you know, here, here are just a few comments from a few of recent clients. Uh, for much more, scroll down and see my recommendation. You know, he might say that. And in addition to my own global coaching practice, to August uh, was director of social media and was to my own in the premier. It's great. So he's he's giving a really quick. Now, by the way, I don't think this is necessary. You know. From, from August to September, it's, it's a little bit too much detail. Just say, in addition to my own global coaching practice, you can, you, you know, he can even take this out. I was a director of social media for Wisdom, you know, one of the premier. Um, uh, okay, so, so Wisdom 2.0 is actually pretty well known in certain circles, but, but not at all well known in other circles. Even some, lots of conscious businesses haven't heard of Wisdom 2.0, right? So I think what Paul could have done here and is is to um, to say he says it's one of the mind, premier mindfulness brands in the world, and then he could put add another sentence to say um, some of the frequent speakers at Wisdom 2.0 conferences include, and I know there have been really really you know famous uh, sort of people who have spoken at Wisdom 2.0. So that would that would add credibility so that someone who's reading this who doesn't know Wisdom 2.0 or needs to be reminded of how influential it is will immediately get a sense of of that okay so this is not enough it needs to have some more so in that role I helped co-create implement strategies that grew the conference from 650 attendees in 2012 to over 1800 in 2013 uh, okay as of as of right now that I'm I'm um, critiquing this program we're in 2015 already so these numbers look a little bit old right so I would I would just say you know grew the conference to 650 650 attendees to over 1800 in a single year, you know, just that's all. That's all he needs to say. I left Wisdom 2.0 to launch Wisdompreneurs, a global organization, transformational leaders, creating change for the power of combining wisdom and social entrepreneurship. In another two years, we have created one of the most dynamic brands in the space using the combination. Okay, this is good, but he needs to have some more credibility indicators for why Wisdompreneurs is so cool. So, for example, I, I'm part of Wisdompreneurs myself as a, as a participant, as a member. And in the Facebook group for Wisdompreneurs, I think there are over 5,000 members already. So he should add some number here to give some credibility. Maybe there are some well-known people in that group, or maybe they've done some conferences or some meetups, or, or maybe there have been some amazing results or partnerships that have come out of that. So you know, he, he should add some more here. I specialize in working with conscious entrepreneurs, social, mindful leaders, wisdom-based business owners, and I would add some more here to say I help them to do what and maybe some bullet points about that I'd love to help you take your business to the next level now okay that's great but what's what's the call to action you know there should be something finally here that says um, a great next step is to contact me for you know if you are this and this type of business contact me for a complimentary 30 minute uh, consultation uh, I have a you know I have a few available each month or something like that or to say you know the next a good next step is to read my article about this or that right so some call to action to what do I do now and of course Paul hasn't yet added media to his profile but then of course then he could add some media to say below the summary you'll find a couple links I would recommend clicking on the services link or clicking on this and that Does that makes sense so the media would go right here with the call to action up here Okay, let's scroll down and look at some of his uh, job positions. Bus so, so here's a job title, Business and Social Media Marketing Coach for Conscious Entrepreneurs at Zellers. This is great. So remember, I, I, I taught you in an earlier video that the key words, or the words that show up in the job title are extremely important for the LinkedIn search engine. So for example, uh, 
if, if someone were to search social media marketing coach in LinkedIn, right, Paul would come up as one of the top people, at least for his network and maybe the second degree, because he's put that as one of the job, one of the words in his job title. Make sense? And, and the nice thing about it is he hasn't done it in such a way that it's unreadable. It, it still makes sense. Business and social media marketing coach for Conscious. This is wonderful. So great, great, great going, uh, Paul. Okay, Zelizer Consulting Services. Um, I'm business marketing social media coach, Conscious Marketing. I'm one of the first focus of, okay, for deep branding. I would recommend that Paul um, add more numbers or more credibility about why his services are effective. So how many people he's worked for, or worked, yeah, worked for, or worked with, clients he's worked with or worked for. Um, maybe, uh, you know, uh, some, maybe, maybe even directly quote some clients, what they say about his services here. Just, you know, just maybe two or three little quotes here. Um, okay. All right. And it's great that he's gotten some recommendations. I haven't even talked about that yet. I don't think uh, I'll talk about it in one of my videos as well. Again, great job on optimizing the, the number of words in the job title. Um, while still making it readable, okay? Uh, I like that there's bullet points here, and wow, okay, so see, now he's getting some numbers. 120 people he spoke at, he spoke for, uh, keynote session, that's great for 100 people, right? So this is great sort of credibility builders. Um, uh, facilitating co-house in, in, in October is not needed, so that's like too much information, too, too much detail, right? Too much detail. These months are not needed here, um, but great with the bullet points. Okay, co-founder and chief executive officer of Wisdompreneur, Wisdompreneurs. Good. Okay, um, global organization. Again, it could it could use some more credibility boosters, such as five thousand members, active group, you know, active Facebook group, etc. Director of social media. Uh, good, good, good. Um, right. He has that credibility builder here with the numbers. Um, executive director, okay. Uh, I think he can write more here. Even though this was his previous career, uh, still, you know, the more words in the job description, uh, the more he can be found on LinkedIn. So what kinds of, uh, you know, what kinds of results happened when he was working there? How many people uh, went through uh, the services for that organization? You know, that kind of thing. Numbers are always good to build credibility. Great, he's added a lot of uh, skills. Um, yeah, he's added a lot of skills and um, I've endorsed a bunch of them. Uh, let's see here, so good job for that. Education, okay, so he can, he can optimize his education section by adding sort of what sorts of classes he took and, and uh, maybe what, uh, what he most appreciated about, about that school. So, um, you know, especially if it's a school that's not super well known, he's like, you know, Leslie University is well known for this or that, or it has a really strong program in this or that, or, you know, the, the thing I, I, ga I gained most from, go from, from, from uh, this degree was learning this or that, or, or, you know, so, so again, the more words on the LinkedIn profile, the more one is found in, in, in the LinkedIn search engine. It's good that he's added interest in here. He can add even more, I think. Uh, birthday, good. Volunteer, good, good. Um, recommendations, he's already received 11. That's great. Let's keep going down if there's anything else. Connections, groups, he's already joined a, a bunch of groups. He can join more. So we can join up to 50 groups. And the more groups that you join, the more you are found in the search engine. Because the search engine also tends to filter. So when you search for something on LinkedIn, It'll, it, the algorithm is something like, okay, the number of words that you're searching, how often does it show up in someone's job title, how close are they to you in terms of first degree or second degree, but also are they in a similar group on LinkedIn as you? So joining more groups would be beneficial for, for him to be found more often. Okay, and um, yeah, so good, good job, Paul, on, on this, and I hope this is helpful for you as well, Paul. All right, so with that, I think this video has gone on long enough. Uh, I look forward to sharing with you uh, and going on in our, um, in our course here on, the, uh, on, on LinkedIn usage to gain clients. And until the next video, be well.